In this video, we're going to walk through how to review your performance by locations. So what you're going to do, step one, is head over to campaigns, insights and reports, when and where ads showed. If your UI looks a little bit different than mine, then you could always just search here to try to find it. And once you get here, you're going to see all of the different countries in which your account is serving ads and spending money. There's two ways you could do this analysis. You could do it at the account view or you could do it at the campaign view. It's really up to you and how you wanna do it. But in terms of the analysis piece and, and what we're gonna walk through, it's the exact same for both. So I'm gonna keep it to the account view. Make sure you have your custom date range set properly based on your time frame, as well as uh, columns. Make sure you have all the data you wanna see in your columns. And once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and click download to Excel CSV. And we're gonna put this into a pivot table. And it's gonna follow a very similar process like most of the steps that you've been going through have been following along in the optimization workflow template. We're going to be summarizing this data just like we did with some of the other things like campaign performance by theme. This one though is much easier because Google just gives us this report already formatted and ready to go. So first things first, we're going to delete our total rows. Then we're going to delete these rows here at the top. Now we're going to put this into a table just like we've talked about. And we're going to summarize this with a pivot table. And then now we're going to put location here as our row. And then now it's up to you to put whatever metrics you want to visualize based on what you downloaded. So I'm going to sort by cost. And now I can really easily see, okay, here's how much we spent in the US, Canada, so on and so forth. I'll put conversions here. So now I can see my cost versus my conversions. And I can see, okay, the United States drove this many and so on and so forth. It's helpful too to put a percentage column. Uh, so in this case, you just, we'll do C4 divided by C16. And then now we can see the percentage as a whole. So the US is responsible for 74% of our conversions, Canada 16%, UK 9% and so on and so forth. And then uh, if you are reporting from Excel and you wanna share these reports with people, then you could just format this table to, to look more presentable. So uh, if you come here to design, they've got all these different templates you could use and you could make sure to apply this for, uh, for your visuals. So just something like this, but definitely would recommend that you are automating this process in the future. But to begin, especially if you're not dealing with a large account, it doesn't take much work to, to do this manually. And now we can really easily see, okay, we've got a, a visual by country. And then from here, it's just a matter of adding any other columns that you want to see to this report. You could also uh, nest information in here as well. So for example, if you want to know, let's say we wanted to, to drill in, you could come here to pivot table analyze, and you can use this thing called a slicer. And the slicer basically lets you drill in to a, a specific thing. So it, it's a pretty cool little feature. So for example, match location. Now I can slice my data based on a specific match location. So for example, let's say United States. And you can see now it'll just show me United States. So it's a pretty cool little dynamic tool you can use alongside your pivot table to uh, understand performance. Outside of this, you could, you could also just add like a, a good old fashioned um, how do you say filter? So for example, if I only wanted to see, I wanted to add a filter of conversions greater than one, then I can do that. And now I only see countries that drove at least one conversion. So it's a pretty cool tool. Um, and that's really it for this video. So you're going to go ahead and summarize your performance by country. And you want to take note of certain countries that are getting the, the lion's share of budget that maybe shouldn't be. So maybe that's an opportunity to exclude those locations, or you wanna take a look at which countries are performing really well, but they don't have enough budget. Maybe that's an opportunity to separate those countries into their own campaigns and then guarantee dedicated budget towards them. So these are the kind of things you wanna ask yourself when you're analyzing your performance by 